you know, here again, we get into the idea, you know, some of these targets are very visible. Well, that's great. STN is a little bit less so. And today, you know, even with the best imaging, thalamus is, is a bit of a mystery. We sort of know that VIM is here, but you can't really see it. So even with the best imaging today, you can't see all of these targets. DTI may be helpful in improving some of these. Um, but it's clear that there's really no consensus on target location. Even if you look at the STN, it's not clear that everyone knows where within the STN to put the electrode. And if you actually look at some of the different studies that have been done, uh, that have you know looked at a dozen different centers, it's all over the map. And yet everyone you know sort of reports more or less the same results. So it may be important to be a little bit more precise as far as you know where we where we put the electrode, and it may have less to do with the contours um, of this structure as seen on MRI and more to do with the actual, you know, micro uh, environment re related to the, the, the fibers that run around or through those structures. Um, some of you may have seen it's worth, I, I meant to include that in this talk, but, but Cameron McIntyre is, um, is an engineer who has thought a lot about modeling these circuits and how DBS intervenes in these circuits and he's recently come up with a demonstration using a Microsoft HoloLens where he shows all of the DTI fibers in real time and then he has a, a you know like a virtual electrode that you can move around the STN in three-dimensional space and you can see that even subtle movements often change the pattern of activation pretty dramatically that you go from stimulating uh, you know, the fields of Florel to stimulating cerebellothalamic fibers and it doesn't take much to do that. And so for that reason, I think, you know, that, that I sort of think of that as the mechanism that makes microelectric recording and, and intraoperative stimulation mapping so important is that you, you really don't know, even if you see, even if you had two patients with exactly the same MRI scan, I'm not sure you would get exactly the same effects, even if you could put the electrode in precisely the same spot. Uh, and, and this has been demonstrated in a number of studies. Um, uh, you know, MER has been demonstrated in many studies to improve mapping placement, and this is one study that shows essentially that uh, there, there was greater efficacy and uh, there's no relationship between where the electrode is, but greater efficacy when you use microelectrode recording. So here, this is a plot from that that is a little bit uh, more useful. So a greater improvement in the UPDRS score uh, with microelectrode recording than without. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from NeurosurgeryTraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.